All right, so we are here at Rebecca Nurse's house here in Salem, the old Salem village, not the Salem everybody else knows, but we are in Danvers where the actual Salem village was. So this is how we are gonna kick off our time out here in Salem, Massachusetts, or Danvers, Massachusetts. We're gonna check out Rebecca Nurse's house so come with us as we check out some stuff and things. Um, um. Um, um. Has her house always been here? We will find out. Okay. All right, we are heading to the Rebecca Nurse Homestead. She was one of the people accused of witchcraft. Did she die? She was hung. That's rude. I think she was hung with three other people. Looks like there's more than one house here. Homestead? No. All right, we are at the Rebecca Nurse Homestead. Independently owned and operated by the Danver Alarm List Company. It's a nonprofit. Emissions and donations are the main source of funding for preservation of the Nurse Homestead. We thank you for your support in this mission. The ground and museum is $10. Children, 6 to 16 or 7. And seniors are 8. Shirts. Did you drop it? Oh, sure. It might take a couple days, but yeah. you should see it. Thank you. Yeah, she's got All right, so I love these books. Got Sessions 9, so it was filmed here. Now it's just houses. You'll probably stop by and check this out, too. to wear if you would like to wear one. Oh, fun. Don't worry about it if you just want to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cute. Uh, and here's a site guide for you guys to show you around the property. This is a link to our audio tour if you wanted to pull it up and listen to it. Uh, we also have one of our staff in the house answering questions. Um, but it's self guided. So there it is. The Rebecca Nurse Homestead. You're about to head inside. I'm trying to figure out my life with this thing right That's a nicer broom than the witch's brooms we saw at the other village. A lot of the early the pilgrims that came over didn't feel like reading and writing was important, but the Puritans knew the value of educating their children. Most of it was the Bible, um, and most of the reading was purposely to read the Bible. <laughs> but their whole, their whole idea was that they wanted their children to know and be able to read scripture and to be able to pass it on to their children. Uh, the Puritans were the first people to establish public schools in Massachusetts, so. Ah, question. Ceremony and spending money. The Puritans just said, we just need a room with a Bible and someone would read it. Uh, and so they had lay ministers, they were not
check it out. Hey, that thing keeps stuck to people. Right? It does. It really is. So if you guys watch Bewitch, you, you'll you remember this thing. I do remember it. But that was the Seven Gables house. <sighs> Where it was going around, hitting them in the butt. It was smelled like that. It was funny. <laughs> Oh, it was hitting Samantha? It was hitting Samantha. God. Fun, fun and and it, was, it was grandma, wasn't it? I fell asleep during that part. <laughs> but funnily, in fact, I have a cousin named Samantha because she was named after that, that TV show. Yeah. yeah. There you go. There's light. Can we read that placard? Yeah. This room restored. <laughs> So that goes up. Now there's another room over this way. Her son, then his son, and basically up her great great grandson was the last nurse to live in the house. That was he married into a Putnam into the Putnam family. They moved oh, away. Putnam. The other side of the Putnams, <laughs> <laughs> the ones that supported Rebecca. So there was like. Thomas and Anne did not, okay. but Thomas's brother um, actually signed Rebecca's petition. So oh. her great grandson married to that <coughs> side, and then um, one of the cousins ended up living in the house, right. and that yeah. was their descendants were here till 1900. So, so the, most of the artifacts that, or the furniture here did that belong to the, the nurses? No. Nope. So again, the house was lived into up to 1900. So right. there's nothing in the house that was from it. So everything that we have in the house was donated to us by. Uh, people who wanted to have historic things in the house. So That's a lot cool. of the stuff is is at least a hundred years old. Some of the stuff is older. This is an actual court cover from the 17th century that's oh, not wow. original to the house, but right. was given to us and is original to the time period. That's cool. So anytime we try to find stuff that is from that time period, we try to put it in because most of the stuff was just 1900s, created in the 1900s to put into the home to make it look old. Yeah. Do you have a question? <laughs> we'll explain to you what you saw. Yes, when you get away. <laughs> it's a little dark. We don't have electricity in here, so yeah. it's hard to see everything. It looks kind of scary, but it's just, you know, it's just dark. Yeah. And he was a little bit nervous to go up the stairs. I'm like, it gets light up there. Oh, yeah, it's very light up there. <laughs> yeah. Nothing yeah. scary. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi. Okay. Witch. <laughs> CJ's. Yeah, the kids, they're all sleeping. They're all tired. All right, so over there, there's another barn. He <laughs> said uh, the nurse family lived in here for a while. And then eventually historians bought it, fixed it, pulled out the electricity and all the modern conveniences. And I guess the caretakers uh, live in the other rooms that you can't go into so those ones yeah so you can't see all of the house only like half of the house is uh, preserved to the time frame that she would have been living here it's still really cool if you guys come out to Salem don't forget about Danvers and put a face with the people that were hung in Salem. All right, so this is the actual front of the house. Front of the house. All right, so Rebecca Nurse was hung on my birthday, July 19th. So, and I do believe it was her and was it the three people at that time? Oh boy. Maybe I should just do B-roll and talk over it, and then I'll sound really smart. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to hold this steady, but it's hard. I got a kid in my arms. Here we'll try. We got a, a window guy. He's fixing one of the windows, but we'll try to get his truck out of the picture. So there's still a lot of, a lot more that you can't see where the caretakers stay. 
but you can see one bedroom, the living room, and I would guess the kitchen. Another shot of the house. Alright, so inside that barn is the gift shop with the shirts and stuff. I didn't see if they had any magnets or anything, but Oh no. Just t-shirts. Just t-shirts. But technically we got these stickers for admission. Oh, it's on my shoulder. I have two still that we could probably just keep. Oh, yeah. We could put that on the refrigerator. Yeah. It's going to be that's going to be an expensive refrigerator if that ever breaks down. All right. So, there's a memorial down here. And a burial ground. And a burial ground. This will be like our 30th grave this trip. And then there's another house over here. All right, so Ann Putnam accused over 60 people of being witches, <laughs> including Rebecca Nurse. Holy cow. <laughs> All right, way back, way back then, man, his girls didn't have a lot of power. People didn't listen to him. And that must have been a huge power trip for that girl. I don't know what her motivation was for all this. Like anyone she didn't like her, holy cow, that's insane. But people believed a lot of crazy things. And there was the, oh, Leah. What was the, what was the woman, the, the woman that was taking care of the family? What was her name? Tichaba? Is it Tichaba? Tichaba. Tichaba. Hmm. So, supposedly, as they were saying in the the movies or recreations and stuff, they were doing a thing with, like, egg whites to see their future husbands. And they were doing it, and then they didn't like what they saw, and then they just started acting all crazy. And, uh, and eventually led to a bunch of people getting hung and like the process of the hanging and was so crazy where they would go up the ladder backwards and a person would stand behind the ladder and then push them by their ankles and the crazy thing is if they admitted that they were witches they would let them go but if you didn't they killed you and I think they believed it was like a mortal sin to admit to something that wasn't true. So a lot of people went to the grave so they would be welcomed into whatever they believed in the afterlife. Is kind of the gist I got from it. All right, so here's another grave site with the Rebecca Nurse Memorial back here. All right, so. Rebecca Nurse, 1692, born in 1621, let's see, let's see if I can get this, if you guys can read that, got a lot of glare happening here. So there is a, a lot of nurses. Norris, I don't know, did they change their thing? Change their pronunciation? Hmm. Oh, it's so hard to read this. It's like one of those crazy eye things, you know? John Tarbell Sr. is buried here. They're like corrected the, the spelling and stuff on here. Did it, is this really where John Proctor is buried too? A lot of the Proctors. There's a Putnam. Oh, 
or Putnam's. Or Putnam's back there. And then pretense. That's when he was hanging. All right, so maybe not the one that was hung because it was August, not October. All right, so we got some writing on the back here says, accused of witchcraft, she declared, I am innocent, and God will clear my name. Once... My innocence. Oh. Yes. Clear my innocence. Oh. And then it says, once... What is that? Acquitted? Yet... Oh, is it glare? I can't read. Once acquitted, yet falsely... Oh, that's falsely. Is that falsely? I, I think know. so. But it's hard to read because there's a glare and it's like... Really? Condemned, she suffered death July 19th. 1692 Was in loving memory of her christian, christian character, character even yeah, then fully yep. attested, attested by, by 40 of her neighbors this monument erected july 1885 yeah. is that a big tree <laughs> It's probably a little baby, baby tree. All right, we are gonna head back up. We'll go check out that other barn, and then uh, there's some remnants of the old village, some foundations and stuff. I think we'll swing over there and check those out. And if Leah will entertain me, we'll go check out the old insane asylum, which is now high-end houses. Or condos, I guess. Uh, they kept the front facade. Everything else was torn down. Should I get coffee? Uh, you could probably get coffee. And a pie? Yeah. So we'll do our little bit of session nine thing out here while we're out here in Danvers. And we'll go see the old uh, medical graveyard, hospital graveyard. Yeah. Yeah, I like the graveyard idea. So, yep. All right, we'll fast forward to the barn. The leaves are starting to fall. So hopefully, once we head up to Vermont and New Hampshire and Maine, we get a lot more color change. So there's her house up there on the hill. It's a nice piece of property. All right, so we are here in Danvers, Massachusetts, and we are at the Rebecca Nurse Homestead. It's there. It is right behind us. It is $10 for adults. It's $7 for six and up. And I hope this isn't all windy. Oh, it's windy. Let, me, let me turn around here. So, yeah, you should come and check this out. This is where the Salem yeah. Village was. Yes. And this is where one of the people that was accused of witchcraft and hung for it be right sure, there yeah be sure to check the dates and times because they dip they're different all right they're different like most of the seasons most of stuff. the season so but yeah. once october started then they were open so they're only open on tuesdays and then saturdays and sundays are pictures, okay so. so we got lucky yes all right it's windy i don't know how much noise you got on this all right so Here's another house on the property. Kind of looks like a courthouse. Or a church. Oh. Same kind of thing, they judge you. And same kind of arena. 
Oh, is this? All right. Well, we are. I'm sorry. We do not know exactly what this all is. We're gonna say. I'm gonna. I'm gonna guess church. It looks like a a reenactment of the witch trials or something. That could be a thing too. Right? Because look, yeah. this could be like a jury box. Yeah. Where people sit. So we're gonna read a little bit more. There's, there's information. It's a meeting house. Okay, the Puritan meeting house. All right, so there's that. So it is like it is a church. Kind of. Kind it's of. everything, probably. A little bit that they meet there. They meet there and they do their business there. Sure. Because this was back when they were trying to establish rules and stuff for people to follow. People were scary back then drawing these crazy drawings. Yeah. Witchcraft. The Inquisitions. What a show. Right, cool. Well, this is really cool. Hmm. I mean, it could do without these folding chairs here, but if they did do a little uh, reenactment thing here, that'd be fun. Well, yeah, they might do it. Who knows? <laughs> There's something that happens here, maybe closer to October or something. Cool. Oh, yeah. And those little benches in here. Pews. Pews. Mm -hmm. Bench. Pew. 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 I was wondering what these boards are. So here's the outside of the meeting house. All right, so now we are over at the Victims of Witchcraft Memorial over here in Danvers. It is over here. Uh, the girl at the Rebecca Homestead recommended just parking here and walking over to the other points of interest out here. So I'm gonna see how, how far of a walk that is. She said it's not too bad. And we'll go check that out after this. All right, so. This is all the sponsors and the patrons who made it possible for the memorial. It's a little informational thing. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. The Book of Life. A couple shackles here. All right, we're gonna go through pretty much this whole thing. All right, so we got the whole thing. All right, Martha Corey, I am an innocent person. I never had to do with the witchcraft since I was born. I am a gospel woman. Mary Etsy, the Lord above knows my innocence as at the great day will be known to men and angels. I petition to your honors, not for my own life, for I know I must die and my appointed time is set. But the Lord, he knows it is that if be possible, no more innocent blood may be shed. Elizabeth Howe, if it was the last moment I was to live, God knows I am innocent. George Jacob Sr., well, burn me or hang me. I will stand in the truth of Christ. And so Sarah Osborne, she died in jail. On May 10th, 1692, hanged Bridget Bishop of Salem. Died in jail, Roger Toothaker and Blarisha, Bill Risha. Died in jail previous to July 19th, 1692, infant daughter to Sarah Good in the Salem Village. Hanged Sarah Good of Salem, Elizabeth Howe of Topsfield, Susanna Martin of Amesbury, Rebecca Nurse of Salem Village, and Sarah Wilds of Topsfield. So we were just at Rebecca Nurse's homestead, July 19th, my birthday, man. That's creepy. 
All right, Reverend George Burroughs. This is when it started getting crazy. Formerly of the Salem Village. Hanged in August 19th, 1692. Martha Carrier, Andover, George Jacob, Senior of Salem, John Proctor, Senior of Salem. So, didn't really clarify whether or not those Proctors uh, were all related. I'm, uh, people probably be like, dude, you're stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. And that is true. Died under the torture. Gills Corey. I don't know if that's the guy who was pressed to death or not. But we're going to learn more and more as we go through Salem. Right. So this is the hanged jail. So Martha Corey, Mary Etsy, Alice Parker, Mary Parker, and Pudetter, Wilmot Reed, Margaret Scott, Samuel Warden. This guy died, or she died, Ann Foster of Andover died in jail. Linda Dessen of Reading, she also died in jail. Amen, amen, a false tongue will never make a guilty person. Susanna Martin. I can say before my internal father, I am innocent and God will clear my innocence, Rebecca Nurse. The magistrate of the ministry's jewelry and all the people in the general being so much enraged and incensed against us by the delusions of the devil which we can term no one by reason we know in our own consciousness we are all innocent persons john proctor senior i fear not the lord his due time will make us white as snow john willard all right i do apologize for my butchering of the english language but all right, so there it is. The sun is coming up here. The sun's going to come out, shine down on the memorial. All right, so directly across from this site was the original meeting house was held. So they did a replica of the meeting house is over by the Rebecca Nurse house. So I am guessing they're talking about across the street where this house is, is where the meeting house used to be, right? It's directly across the street. This is technically across the street. It said directly across the street? Okay. From the site. No, it says from the site. Um, so it gets a little confusing. I'm confused. You know? It's like, that way? Right there? Was or, that the meeting house? Or was it over here? Or was it by the memorial? That way. Where the memorial is. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Could be. Yeah. They got this nice little black creek little trail here of death. Tis firm. <laughs> Tis firm. All right. So we got to walk down to the next stop sign. And that would be the church. The church would have been on the left hand side. And then there's a couple other things to look at. The church in Salem Village. Rent by the Witchcraft Frenzy. Came in 1697. The Reverend Joseph Green, age 22. He induced the mischief makers to confess, reconciled the factions established the first public school and became noted for his skill at hunting game and his generous hospitality so is this original is this the original church or is this a rebuilt church it didn't really say but there it is old salem village there's a couple other things to look at but this this was one Leah says this, this looks old. Yeah. 
fern gully, if you put an X on the tree, that means you have to tear it down. So tear I it down? That, yeah. Maybe they're going to tear that down. 1730? That's a long time ago. That's a while. All right, Is so. Is Mockingjay? Mockingjay. All right, so Samuel Paris site back here. It's, it's some rocks, a foundation. Is that the scariest part of the... Got a little bit of scary. Chickens. Who doesn't like birds, Chris? My wife? Yeah. Alright, so back yeah, here I in between these houses is the archaeological site. Oh my god. Alright, so we are heading towards Samuel Parrish's old homestead. Which is a bunch of rocks. It's, it's way cooler than, you know, dressing up with pointy hats and stuff and actually being where these people live. So. Yeah, Alright. Bye, this kids. Is way back here. <laughs> Can you walk in it? It's open. Alright, so there's their old homestead. All right, so I decided that I am not gonna read too much of this so I don't stumble over a bunch of words and stuff here. But you guys can pause the video and read. There it is. Here. So in 1734, they added an addition. So one of this is the addition. Yeah. I assume this is the addition. Going down? Yeah, I'll be allowed to. Yeah? Going downstairs. It does, the gate's open and it doesn't look like it's locked. Or was locked. It's just... Mm -hmm. Uh... I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to I'm trying to read everything here. This is a lot of reading to sound smart. There's another little square over here. I feel like maybe that square is the addition. No. No. Come on. Okay. Hello. The sign for the addition was right there, and then there's a picture over there. All right. So I like this this bottom little paragraph here. It was in this house in 1692 that Tituba, Reverend Parrish's slave, told the girls of the household stories of the witchcraft, which nurtured, right? Nurtured? Yeah. The village witchcraft hysteria and resulted in the death of 23 persons. This house was the scene of many incidents during the hysteria and is one of the most important sites in colonial America history the archaeological evacuation excavation sorry began here in 1970 so so this is where Titaba was Tichaba see see Tichaba so what kind of where where was she from <laughs> well, what, what, uh, what kind of? She's black. She is a black slave. Slave. I don't remember like where she was from. Mm -hmm. I don't remember where she was from. All right, so Tichuba, if I'm saying that right, she was enslaved in Barbados. So, what was it like? A uh, voodoo. Maybe she was teaching them with the egg whites. And this is the location. So that is crazy. Where all the beginning of the witchcraft hysteria happened right here. At this site. And I'm so glad it's still here. So it's right in behind a bunch of houses here. So. So Leah. So they excavated this. And found this. So does that mean there might be 
More? More? Possible. Villages? There, houses? Uh, in people's backyards? More farms and stuff? It's a possibility. I wouldn't put it past it. I mean... I mean, how did this get lucky enough to be in the back of someone's yard? <laughs> I remember hearing the people who, who live around here uh, had ancestors that grew up here and they had you know just word of mouth saying hey yeah in my backyard we remember that the parishes live back here and they remember um, even uh, burial sites and stuff like that so there was just word of mouth basically that they found this yeah yeah so this not completely far-fetched to think that there's going to be other sites that were kind of lost to time but also at the same because you know people kind of settle next to each other i would yeah. think right yeah because like this could have been easily bulldozed away mm -hmm. by an excavator yeah and the fact that they just I mean like there's a big clearing up right behind us you don't we don't know yeah there was a map that we could buy and it would show you where all the old houses were so these people might <laughs> actually know that they have a a, rec, uh, a square of rocks underneath their topsoil. It is October 1st. What a, what could, it couldn't be a better way to spend it than out here in Danvers, checking out the history of witchcraft. Oh yeah, there's spooky. Oh yeah, spooky, spooky. Spooky, spooky. Leaves are falling. Leaves are falling. Crunching leaves. Crunchy, crunchy. And then what do we call these things? Walnuts? Something like that? So watch your heads. I heard a couple of loud thumps and stuff. I did too. I thought it was a witch. A witch. So they got a bunch of rock fences and stuff. And these are these could be historical too. Maybe this whole thing was historical. Yeah. Oh my God. yeah. I or, or or either what is he talking about? I am not so strong. All right. I am overpowered. I can destroy everybody. <laughs> All right. All right. So this these could be other people's foundations, or this fence could have always been here. All leaves, crunching of leaves. Sun's coming out. So, a lot of these old houses had little placards and it would tell you how old they were. This one definitely looks really old. Yeah. The door, the door knockers are really cool. All right, that'll do it for this video. Uh, I did find a website that did have more locations of houses and places where people lived during that time. Uh, Sarah Osborne, the first person to be accused of witchcraft. She died in prison and never stood trial in Boston. And the other one was one of Rebecca Nurse's accusers at the Holton House. So if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. And ring that bell so you are notified of future videos like this. Thanks for watching.